Future Vertical Lift has existed as an initiative for a number of years, since 2009. Uh, Department of Defense, multi-service participation across that initiative. What's interesting now is we are finally um, rolling out the first potential program of record. So the services have got together and they've been the requirements for uh, all of the future capabilities across the department into different capability sets, one through five. Uh, capability set three is what we're concentrating on now. Uh, and it's a, a capability set that in, uh, involves missions from the Army, the Marine Corps, and the SOCOM organizations. And so uh, the requirements for that particular capability set are relatively aligned. And uh, we have moved through the approval process where we're right at the point of asking the defense acquisition executive for permission to move into the next phase of the program. That's the material solutions analysis phase. That occurs on the 28th of this month. And we'll ask Mr. Kendall for permission to, to execute an analysis of alternatives, which is uh, you know, a formal effort for us to validate the requirements that we've outlined and determine whether or not we truly need and can afford a material solution. So that's really the next phase of the program. The joint multi-role technology demonstration is the science and technology effort intended to form the foundation for future vertical lift across all the capability sets. JMR is focused on not only the aircraft demonstrations and the technologies associated with those aircraft demonstrations, but also things like mission system architectures and a lot of subsystem demonstrations as well. So collectively between industry and government, we've expended about $1.2 billion on the joint multi-role technology demonstration, with industry actually providing the lion's share of that funding. And the nice thing about that is we have uh, increased the, the, the pool of technology available for industry to draw from to bring to bear on the, on the requirements that we're outlining in the future vertical lift, vertical lift programs of record. So when you look at JMR and you, you know, people tend to think that those are the aircraft that we are going to bring into FVL, particularly this first capability set. And I'm certain that those companies that are developing those aircraft are going to participate. You got Boeing and Sikorsky with the Defiant. You've got Bell and Lockheed Martin on the Valor 280. We've also got Karam that is not going to mature to a flight demonstration, but they are going to demonstrate their unique technology at a test stand level. And you've got a company called ABX that is going to wind tunnel test their unique configuration. But the nice thing is that all, all those efforts are going to demonstrate technology at a, a level where, as the program manager, I can draw from that with reasonable risk and understand exactly what those configurations are capable of and exactly what we need to do in the next stages of the programs to mature it to a point where we can go forward into EMD.